Ah, the closet at my parents' house. Brings back so many memories. Okay, you're probably wondering what the heck was that? Why is Mike standing in the closet? This is kind of weird. Is this still a guitar channel? What's going on here? Don't worry. Everything is fine. This is still a guitar channel. I'm still Mike Filipov, guitar practice expert. I recently visited my parents' house and I was reminded of a story. When I was 15 years old, my parents took my guitar away and put it in their closet. My grades were slipping and I was practicing guitar five, six, seven hours per day. I wanted to play like Ingvar Malmsteen, like Randy Rhodes, like Paul Gilbert, like Eddie Van Halen. And my parents saw that, but you know, as typical parents, they wanted me to do well in school. So they took my guitar away and they hoped that that would motivate me to raise my grades. You are probably not 15 years old anymore watching this and you probably don't have to worry about your parents taking your guitar away from you, but comment below if you have limited time to practice right now. Maybe you have a job, maybe you have a family, maybe you have a business to run, maybe you have a whole bunch of other obligations outside of guitar and yet you still want to become as good of a guitar player as you want to be. If that's you, comment below. And as you can imagine, I was absolutely furious at my parents, not just for taking my guitar away, but for taking away what I thought was my whole identity. Have you ever felt this way when you're trying to do something that you feel is really defining you, who you are as a human being, and there's all these obstacles in the way, you're not able to do what you want to do? Comment below. So I had two choices. I either convinced my parents to give me my guitar back or admit defeat and say that, hey, Guitar is just not for me. I'm not destined to be a good guitar player. I chose the third option. I chose to sneak into my parents' closet when they weren't home and practice guitar for 10 minutes here, seven minutes there, five minutes here, and try to squeeze in as much progress as I could with the limited amount of time I had. I decided to make a dedicated study of practicing. I knew that I couldn't practice as much as I wanted, but what I could change was how effective my practice was. So I started studying everything I could about practicing, about natural talent. I read all the books in my high school library. That was before YouTube, by the way. So long story short, after about three months, I get my guitar back. I noticed that many of my skills were actually at a higher level than they were when my parents took my guitar away from me. I wasn't playing like Ingve or anything after three months of practicing guitar for 20 minutes a day, but the skills were high enough that I really noticed a difference. And that was the birth of my obsession with the whole idea of RPM concept or results per minute concept. I've made videos about this in the past on this channel because the more results you can cram into each minute of your practice time, the faster you improve, even when your practice time is very limited. And that's why I'm so passionate about this topic. This is why I've created this YouTube channel and all these videos, why I have my website. That's why I do this for a living instead of working as an accountant. And by the way, I actually do have an accounting diploma. No matter where you are today, it doesn't matter how much or how little practice time you have. If you're unhappy with your progress as a player, it's not you, it's not your situation. It's simply the approach you're taking to practicing that's keeping you stuck. And that's very good news because when you change the approach, you're gonna get different and better results. So I wanna leave you with a few quick tips before I go on how to make more progress with less practice and how to make more progress away from the guitar. If you've never actually made a study of what it means to practice guitar effectively, that will be the first place to begin. Because if you've only been practicing based on intuition, based on what you think is common sense, or based on what feels natural, or what you think comes naturally to you, unless you're like, the few people who were born with natural talent and you just instinctively know how to practice correctly, you've probably built in some bad habits, some inefficient and ineffective practice habits that are slowing you down. It's like having a brick under the gas pedal in your car. So if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe to this channel, watch my other videos, apply these things to your practicing and start getting results. My goal is to wake you up to the idea that you actually can do this. You actually can make more progress with less practice. Even if you've been stuck for 30 years, even if you have a lot of bad habits to undo, you can start this process now. You can begin the process today. Warren Buffett says, the more you learn, the more you earn. And guitar practice expert says, the more you study about practicing, the more progress you're gonna make with less practice. The second thing is to make use of your time away from the guitar. And you have more time than you think you do. Do you drive your car or do you take a bus? If so, that time can be used to become a better guitar player. Make a list of these moments of idle time throughout the day when you're not doing anything productive and decide how you're gonna use that time to become a little bit better as a guitar player. 
Some of the more obvious things you can do is practice ear training, study music theory, plan your practice schedules. Some of the less obvious things you can do is actually visualize yourself practicing. Close your eyes and actually see yourself sitting down with the guitar and going through the process of practicing whatever songs, exercises, licks, scales, techniques you're working on. What is your picking hand doing? See it in your mind's eye. What is your fretting hand doing? See that in your mind's eye. Are you aware of what correct technique should look like? And you should make a study of that also. So that this way, when you do practice away from the guitar, you know how everything is supposed to look. Can you hear the notes being played correctly? Can you hear in your mind how the notes are supposed to sound when they're played correctly? Can you hear the notes played in time? The more you become aware of this, the easier it becomes to do it when you actually pick up your guitar. So start using these tips today. And if this was your first time watching my videos, let this video be the moment when you started making more progress with less practice. And if you like this video, by the way, do three things right now. First, comment below what of what I've shared has been the most insightful, funny, or most weird, or most helpful for you. Comment below, I actually read your comments, and if you ask me a question, I'm going to personally reply to you. And one more thing before we go. If you're not looking to increase your guitar speed, feel free to ignore everything I'm gonna say next, but if you are looking to play faster, and if you're stuck right now, and if you've already tried the old starting slow and gradually building up speed method, and you already kinda of know that it doesn't really work, hit the link below, I'm gonna teach you the one thing that made the biggest impact on my playing, the one thing that took me from a frustrated left-handed guitar player with basically no speed who thought he would be stuck just playing legato forever to playing well over a thousand notes a minute. You will see at the link below how I did it and how you can do it too. It's not hard, it doesn't take a lot of practice time and I'm going to teach it to you for free. By the way, the reason I am teaching it to you for free is because I want you to see what I can do for you, I want you to like it, and my hope is that if you like it even half as much as I think you will, you're going to want to join my paid Rapid Fire Guitar Practice Training Program where I'm going to personally train you how to make more progress with less practice the way I've trained hundreds of guitar players over the past decade. So check it out at the link below. It's free. Enjoy it. I will see you soon.